Okay, I just want to tidy up a couple of issues people are having with the Unity menus and font system on the web player. So, the first thing is that people are making their menus, they're exporting their projects to the web player, and their fonts aren't showing in their menu buttons, and they're wondering why. Well, that, that, the solution to that is very simple. If you want to display your custom fonts in a web browser, change the character here to Unicode. Dynamic will not work. Stay away from dynamic in web players, guys, if you're using custom fonts. Always go with Unicode and it will work for you. Okay? And just remember to click Apply. And that applies that. So always change it to Unicode. Don't use Dynamic if you're exporting to the web player because it won't work. It will stick to Arial, whatever the default font is. Actually, before I go any further, I'm going to change this to 32. It's a bit small. Okay, the second problem people are having is with their GUI styles. They're coding out nice styles with rollover effects and click effects, and then they go to play the game, but it doesn't work, and they're wondering why. So I've created the same scenario here. I've got a nice script, I've got a, a menu style, I've got the font, the, the text alignment and the normal colour and the hover colour. So if I try this out I'm expecting the colour to change when I hover over it but nothing's happening and I'm wondering why. So the solution is guys you need a background image on both your normal and your hover states. That's, that's the solution. So it's really easy to do this. I'm just going to put public I've got a public texture 2D, I'm going to call it menu whoops, but, button background and uh, even if you guys don't want an image in the background you can just create a transparent pixel, that's what I've done a one pixel by one pixel uh, invisible image so all you got to do is drag it up onto our background menu button and make sure it's in the actual script in the scene it's not at the moment. Okay. And we need to add two lines of code. The first line Okay, I've just added a background to our normal state. I'm going to do the same again to our hover state. Okay, and it's that simple, guys. Let's go and see if it works. There we go. It's working now. It's fine. So <laughs> I don't know why Unity have done this. They should really do something about that, I think. It's really confusing, and they should at least flag a warning or something. Yeah, there's no warning or anything. So watch out for that one, guys. I just wanted to put these errors on, <laughs> on YouTube for anyone who's having the same problems, because I know it drives some people crazy. So thanks for watching, guys.